Attorney, we understand na meron na kayong mga inisip na names for Vice President. We ask because medyo mukhang malakas ang if you feel ng kabila for Vice President. We talked last night with Attorney Sal Panelo and he said the President Duterte himself is open to seeking the second highest post in the land in 2022. Ano po yung tingin niyo sa scenario na yon? Well, uh, sabi nga ni Presidente, joke-joke-joke. So, I don't know if uh, it is another joke by... Si Sal Panelo nagsabi sabi niya. Eh, I don't, hindi ko naman po alam, Ma'am Ani, bakit nakikinig pa kayo doon sa kanya. Pero kung makinig kayo sa kanya, eh, that is of course the choice of anybody. No? But uh, in my position, um, I would trust that uh, the, uh, the candidate of isang bayan because I trust in a unified candidate. And I think... We have uh, succeeded at this point to unify the democratic forces. People that you haven't seen on the same table talking and eating together, conversing together, are now in one place um, with one objective, no? to unify under one candidate for the May 2022 election. Okay. And as I think, with, with a unified ticket, we would not only have a plurality candidate uh, uh, winner, uh, but we would have a majority winner come May 9, 2022. And that hopefully would be from Isangbayan. So I, I am very confident that with a unified slate, we would not only win, but we would win by a majority. Yes, but attorney, on, the, on, that, on that scenario uh, of, of President Duterte running for vice president, um, will that go unchallenged? Or what is your position on even the legality or the constitutionality of that? And will you take action uh, on that? Well, there is a legal question to that. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's a political process. Um, we may, we have th uh, talked about it and we are thinking if ever that will happen, if we will pose a legal challenge, but uh, I think the better way is to go for a electoral challenge. No? And I don't see him with his uh, failure in pandemic response, with his fake drug war, with his fake uh, corruption war, with his uh, traitorous act in the West Philippine Sea, I don't see him winning in any other election after this. Okay. okay, when you say that you don't see him winning, uh, ano po bang basehan ninyo? Dahil ang mga nakikita namin ay mga surveys, no? And in the surveys, nananatiling malakas ang uh, Pangulo, no? So I, I'm just wondering what your basis is for saying that you're very confident because that's how you appear to us right now. No? Yes, Ma'am Luchi, the surveys is only a snapshot of today. We, we don't know the snapshot of May 2022. The real survey will come out May 9, 2022, which is election day. Plus, you have to remember one thing that people do not know. The people doing the survey, although it is, for example, PALS or SWS, the people making the survey are still from the barangay. The people still giving the ayuda, giving the ASAP, and giving the, the goodies to the people. So. Uh, siyempre may halong takot, may halong gusto ko uh, sumaya si Kapitan o si Konsihal o si Kagawad. Otherwise, baka hindi ako mabigyan. So, um, although it is a uh, barometer, I think we have to be careful in uh, choosing or uh, deciding which barometer we should follow at this oh. point. Tony, do you consider Senator Manny Pacquiao a serious contender for uh, the presidency? Baka ma'am Ami sa boxing niya nitong September, she might be a contender. Pero for the presidency, I think uh, it, would be, it would be difficult to have him with isang bayan. But uh, if he would run um, as a person, we would respect that. I respect him as an individual as, and I, I uh, thank him for everything that he has done for the good of the country. So I wish him luck. I wish that he, he pursues his uh, ambition to to run for president and um, uh, come, come May 2020, then we hope that the Filipino people would be discerning enough to choose the proper candidate or the proper person to lead them 2022 onwards.